Got an update now to breaking news. We first brought you on News 4 at 4. The city health department has issued two citations following the discovery of 50 bodies piled in as many as four U-Haul trucks parked near a Brooklyn funeral home with no refrigeration. News 4's Ida Siegel tonight continue our team coverage from the Flatlands section of Brooklyn to explain why the owner will not be facing any criminal charges. Ida? Well, this started with phone calls to police from folks in the neighborhood complaining about a foul smell at the funeral home, and it ended with investigators in hazmat suits trying to figure out what to do with so many bodies that had nowhere to go. A plastic black tarp connects this U-Haul truck to the Andrew T. Cleckley funeral home on Utica Avenue tonight. Behind it, investigators have been transferring dozens of bodies out of the truck. Law enforcement sources say the funeral home director had placed as many as 50 bodies in four different U-Haul trucks because there was no more room inside his parlor. Folks in the neighborhood say they noticed something strange in the last few weeks. I should have called the cops a long time ago, you know, when I first noticed it. But, you know, you don't want to jump the gun. It's a funeral home. You know, people are dying. Sources say the funeral home director was waiting for a large refrigerated truck to store the bodies, but it was late on arrival. Desperate for a solution, he put the bodies in U-Haul trucks packed with ice. Police say there was no criminality, but the funeral home has been issued two citations from the health department. The Brooklyn Borough President says what happened here is unacceptable. Can you imagine this, this truck? If there's no shelving in here, then you have someone's family members lying on top of each other. Funeral homes in Brooklyn and Queens have been overwhelmed with more bodies than they can handle since the COVID outbreak, resulting in families having to wait two to three weeks to lay their loved ones to rest. It just disgusted me, you know. But, but if, if, if one of my loved ones passed away, You know, I'll be very upset right now. The Brooklyn Borough President is convening a bereavement committee on Monday. They will discuss this incident and demand the city do better for people who have died from COVID. One funeral director told me, he said, Eric, I've been doing this for 40 years and I never cried throughout my entire 40 years. I left one of the trailers in tears. I couldn't believe what I was seeing that was happening to human remains. The medical examiner's office tells us they hold weekly phone calls with funeral directors around the city, unclear if they met with this funeral home director. The borough president says he's hoping to meet with the ME on Monday. Reporting from Flatlands, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.